Have you ever looked out the window of an airplane and marveled at that sea of clouds beneath you? Well, how would you like to have that experience without having to take off your shoes or go through a body scan? Ed Jones found just the place for you in Duff, Tennessee. In the mornings, the clouds coming up over the valley, it's like an ocean below. A city above the clouds sounds like the stuff of dreams. And it was the dream of one man with the ironic name of Jim McLeod. He had a vision of this being like Rock City. Had a really good start of something. Interstate kind of put that to sleep. Scott Field's father, Paul, would reawaken that dream. My father fell in love with it, said, you know, this would be a great investment. Used it as a family retreat from the late 80s until about 2006, at which point he said, you know, I think we need to share the place. We should build a restaurant. But my dad, like Jim McLeod, this became the love affair of his life. We're carrying on the family tradition and living my dad's dream. As the owner of McLeod Mountain Restaurant and Lodge, Scott is now the steward of that dream and is eager to share it with others. Beginning with the breathtaking view nearly 3,000 feet above the valley below. From the far east, which is the furthest you can see, you're seeing just over Cumberland Gap in Middlesboro. On a very clear day, you can see the Smokies, which are about 65 miles in the distance. You can see Clingman's Dome. You look all down the Cumberlands to the left and the right. We also sit in the middle of the Cumberland Trail. The Cumberland Trail is a planned trail that they hope to open in the next decade, and it comes right down our main road. The cliffside view is thrilling, and so is the trip up and down the mountain. We always recommend putting it in first gear on some of the steep ones. It is a serpentine road, and uh, hopefully you got a shot of the sign coming up the hill with a squiggly line. All those twists and turns can certainly build up an appetite, which restaurant and lodge manager Charles Wallace can remedy. We really have a nice diverse menu with a little bit of something for everybody. We really consider ourselves destination dining, so you really want to make sure that, that everybody comes up, has an op you know, finds something they care for. Our steaks are really incredible. We're really known for our barbecue. It's a Tennessee style barbecue. We have a smoker out on the back, so everything's smoked here in the house. We do have burgers. We do have a nice selection of salads for people who have a nice duck breast salad. Just a little bit of twist to the traditional. Are you guys doing all right? How is everything? Great. Wonderful. Thank you for coming to the mountain. If the spectacular view from the main dining room isn't awe-inspiring enough, perhaps you'd prefer a private table dangling off the cliff. The overlook was the original concept of the restaurant. Dad wanted to cantilever the whole thing off the edge of the mountain. A lot of people would not have seen that, but he kept that ideal. He wanted to put you out over the edge. Cantilever dining room came along about a year and a half to two years after we opened the restaurant. And it does give an opportunity to walk out and look down on the elevation you're truly at. If you'd rather have your feet on the ground, but nothing above you, try the Sky Deck, which is going to be a lot of fun. Wide open, straight outside dining, you're sitting on top of the world. It's just going to be a little limited menu. We're going to be working out of that smoker. We have a little bit more limited menu than in here, but it's going to be a fantastic venue for just something really different. For those looking to spend more time on the mountain, there are 11 lovely lodges available. They're all king suites. Each of the rooms you walk into a master bedroom has a little kitchenette off to the side, full-size refrigerator, microwave, and a closet. As you walk around, you have a 50-inch TV on the wall, which you're on top of the mountain with a view like this. You won't spend much time watching that. Very private deck outside of the master bedroom, privacy screens on each side. You would have to go out of your way to see anybody else. As you walk around the corner, we do have a jetted tub. Big custom, double bowl vanity. Walk into the bathroom, everything is custom tiled. Just did everything, the best touches that we could come up with. Hopefully better than the comforts of home. Luxury lodging, cliffside dining, but wait, there's more. One of the biggest questions I get is, what is there to do when I get there if I spend a few days? The first thing to do is not fight crowds. We're, we're close to the Smokies, but you know, it's quiet here. Sit back, read a book. We've got miles of hiking trails. We've got beautiful rock formations, waterfalls. It's a place to get away from all of that. 
We have incredible sights. Just the view here is amazing. And that's just the south facing side. The north facing side of the mountain is all nature. You see very few homes, very little of anything. The chimney rocks that are here on site are one of our biggest hits. The 150 chimneys standing up to 250 feet high. We've built a bridge out over top of them so everybody can, can get out and enjoy them. The state of Tennessee purchased that plot of land from us about three years ago. They are being integrated into the Cumberland Trail. So it's a great spot if you're really looking for something unique for your family. With the lodge, which is really nice for the anniversaries, you can stay. And if you're from Knoxville or Nashville or wherever, come up and stay the weekend, have your families come up and visit, have a nice lunch, dinner. You know, any kind of event like that works real well. So if you're looking for an out of this world, well, above this world experience, your dream could be waiting just above the clouds.